What's up, family? My name is Trail, and happy Halloween. I hope you guys get a lot of candy today. But anyways, hey, we do have some new states being approved for the SNAP emergency allotments for the month of November, and I have their payout dates as well. We also still have a few more states that haven't finished paying out their October benefits, so I will briefly go over those as well in this video. Now, in addition, we have several new states being approved for the summer PEBT program. We have a about seven states that are going to be issuing $391 payments between November and December. And last but not least, we have some individuals that will be receiving some new tax refunds sometime this week, exactly on Tuesday. And I have the details to share with you as well. But before we get started, guys, hey, you already know what to do. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Okay guys, let's start the video off with announcing the remaining states for the October emergency allotments. We still have a few more states that need to distribute their benefits and most of these distribute their benefits a month behind. And here they are. Alabama, October the 31st. California, November the 26th. Hawaii, November the 14th. Kansas, November the 21st through the 30th. Massachusetts, November the 2nd. Minnesota, November the 8th through the 30th. New Hampshire, October the 4th and the 21st and on November the 18th, New Mexico, October the 1st through the 31st, and Nevada, November the 12th, North Carolina, October the 22nd through the 31st, Oregon, October the 10th, 28th, and November the 1st, Vermont, November the 14th, and West Virginia, October the 4th, and a final run on November the 9th. So yes, like I said, those are the remaining states we have for the month of October. So anyways, guys, moving on to the new states for the month of November. November. We now have a total of 23 states that have been approved and here they are. Alabama, November the 30th. California, December the 17th. Colorado, November the 5th through the 11th. D.C. approved on the regular issuance date. Hawaii, December the 12th. Illinois, November the 21st through the 29th. Kansas, December the 21st through the 30th. Louisiana, November the 5th, the 12th, and the 19th. For Maine, November the 11th. Maryland, November the 4th through the 23rd. Michigan, November the 12th through the 21st. New Hampshire, November the 3rd and the 18th. New Jersey, November the 1st through the 5th. New Mexico, November the 1st through the 30th. North Carolina, November the 22nd through December the 1st. Oklahoma, November the 10th through the 15th. Oregon, November the 10th, the 29th, and on December the 1st. Rhode Island, November the 3rd. South Carolina, November the 1st through the 19th. For Texas, November the 3rd through the 10th. Utah, November the 26th. West Virginia, November the 2nd, and a final run on December the 14th. And we have Wisconsin, November the 19th. And those are all of the states we have for October and November. We are still getting more approvals every day for November. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future updates. Now, before we go any further, I want to remind you guys about getting the Amazon Prime membership for free for 30 days. It's almost Black Friday and Christmas season and the holidays and a perfect way to get all of your shopping done with free shipping as well as be able to watch those movies over the holidays. You can also enjoy unlimited free movies, TV shows, music streaming, books and magazines, or if you already have the membership right now, make sure that you are getting the discounted rate because it is true. If you receive any government assistance such as EBT, WIC, SNAP, TANF program or anything like that, you are eligible to get the discounted rate for Amazon Prime for just $6.99 per month, which is half of the normal cost. But anyways, guys, if you are interested, all of those links will be down below. Okay, guys, I found an interesting article that I want to share with you today in regards to four items that are being purchased at the dollar store by majority of Americans right now. And yes, the title right here it says that four dollar store items that americans are purchasing the most right now and as you can see a picture of dollar tree which is one of my favorite stores but anyways guys it says that dollar stores are a mainstay in american life with a 2020 survey indicating that around 60 percent of americans has shopped
shopped at a Dollar Tree in the previous 12 months. The two heavyweights in the industry are Dollar General and Dollar Tree, which purchased Family Dollar back in 2015. But these true dollar stores are also under increasing competition from the likes of Target, Walmart, Ikea, and Costco. Despite that, there are still some items that shoppers can't help saving on from these particular dollar stores. And it says right here with this particular title that says, what is the most bought at dollar stores? Well, it says that purchases made exclusively at dollar stores as opposed to other options such as Costco and Ikea are a little bit diversified. Food was the most common response at 24%, followed closely by personal care items sitting at around 22%. And then also party supplies and home goods ranked highly as well, pulling in 17 and 15% respectively from the vote. But anyways, guys, what are the items that are least bought at dollar stores? Well, the clear losers when it comes to items bought at dollar stores are kitchen appliances and apparel. As kitchen appliances are often high dollar items, it makes sense that more consumers would use big box stores like Costco for those types of purchases. And apparel, however, seems like it would be a good fit for a dollar store purchase, but it only generated around 4% of the vote. Now what you should really be buying at dollar stores is, it says that dollar stores offer lots of low cost merchandise, but some deals stand out more than others. While you can get equal or lower prices on some items at uh, your local stores, dollar stores shine in certain particular areas. According to experts, these are typically some of the best things to buy at the dollar stores. Number one, greeting cards. Number two, picture frames. Number three, picnic and party supplies. And yes guys, those of the top three items, but also don't forget about batteries you can buy there as well as beauty products. And then some of them like tools for your cars and your garage or things like that, guys. But anyways, guys, uh, Dollar Tree is one of my favorite stores. And I thought this article would be a uh, very interesting to share with you because if you are not getting some of your items there, such as greeting cards, I know me personally, I love to buy birthday cards, guys, because you know children pretty much throw them away as well as adults as well. So why pay six dollars from your Kroger or CVS stores when you can go to Dollar General or the dollar store and get two for one dollar. But anyways, guys, I hope you like that particular article. But also in the news, we want to talk about some individuals that are about to receive some tax refunds. And yes, guys, these are going to start flowing out this week, guys, exactly tomorrow on Tuesday. And yes, it says right here that tax refunds will start to flow on Tuesday. The first checks are direct deposits from nearly three billion dollar pot of excess tax revenue will head back to taxpayers starting on Tuesday when the calendar flips to November according to the Baker administration announced this on past Friday but anyways guys uh, about three million taxpayers will receive a refund in the form of a mail check or a direct deposit worth about 14 percent of what they owe in state personal income tax from 2021 the administration plans to distribute the refunds on a rolling basis through December the 15th. The administration had previously estimated refunds of about 13% of income tax liabilities. However, taxpayers who owed state personal income tax last year and already filed their 2021 return are eligible and do not need to take any additional steps to receive their refunds. And yes, the Baker administration previously said that taxpayers needed to file the 2021 tax return by October the 17th to be eligible for the 62F refund. But a spokesperson said that on Friday that the administration pushed that deadline until September the 15th of next year, which is the latest date possible to file your 2021 tax return turn when accounting for extensions to accommodate taxpayers who might not have been aware of the original deadline. But anyways, guys, notice that this particular article doesn't say what state it is, and I had to do some additional research, and it does apply to the state of Boston, guys. Boston, Massachusetts, that is. But anyways, guys, like I said, if you live in Boston, Massachusetts, you are 
probably eligible to receive these particular tax refunds and they are going out on Tuesday. And then last but not least, guys, I do want to remind you that about the 2022 Delaware Relief Rebate Program because the applications are open for you to apply starting tomorrow on November the 1st. So guys, if you live in Delaware, you do not want to miss out on these particular rebate checks from this particular rebate program. Now, just to remind you guys that this is the 2022 Delaware Relief Rebate Program, which was created by House Bill 360. The legislation uh, created a relief rebate, which is one-time direct payments of $300 per adult Delaware resident. This relief is intended to promote general welfare of Delawareans emerging from the COVID pandemic and facing higher prices at grocery stores and at the gas pump. And beginning on November the 1st, Delawareans, adult Delawareans who are over the age of 18 and living in the state on December 31st of last year and who have not previously received a 2022 relief rate rebate may apply online starting on November the 1st. Applicants are advised that the period to apply is only 30 days long and it closes on November the 30th. Applicants must have a valid social security number, a Delaware residential mailing address, either an active driver's license that was issued by the Delaware Department of Motor Vehicles on or before December the 31st of last year or an active identification card that was issued by the Delaware Department of Motor Vehicles on or before December 31st of last year as well and meet other verification standards in order to be eligible for this uh, rebate program. And yes, guys, these rebates can be worth between $300 and $600. So again, guys, like I said, the applications are opening up on November the 1st. So you definitely want to go ahead and apply for this right now as soon as you finish watching this video. Now, I will include a link to this particular article down below in the description. So all you have to do is just click on it and then scroll down below down here so that you can apply for it. And then as you see, guys, right here in the green section, this is where you can check the rebate status after you apply for these particular rebates of $300. And last but not least, here are the new approvals for the summer PEBT benefits. We have about seven states that have been approved to issue their benefits as of now. And here is when you can expect to receive those. For the states of Arizona, it's going to come sometime in November, California in November, Colorado sometime in late December, Connecticut between November and December, for Florida between October and November, for Georgia it's going to be in December, for Kansas between October and November, Nebraska sometime in December, and for Texas sometime late November. And most of these payments are going to be issued in a lump sum of $391 payments. And if you want to find out more information about these benefits in your respective state, all you have to do is go to google.com and type in your state and PBT, and that should take you directly to the benefits information for your state. But anyways, other than that, hey, I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget about some of the free offers down below where you can get some free money, some free cash, as well as how to receive 12 free stocks from Webull. All of those links will be down below. But anyways, hey, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys. Hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.